With the dire conditions in Gaza, babies born prematurely and their mothers are facing huge challenges as they try to find adequate care. CNN's Larry Madowo takes us inside one hospital. Every breath is a miracle for these babies born prematurely during the war in the Gaza Strip. They're here because Israeli forces ordered the Al-Shifa hospital in the north evacuated, claiming Hamas terrorists operated from there. Baby formula is the only source of nutrition here. Many of the mothers have not been found yet. Nobody knows if they're alive or dead. Shaima Abu Khater just arrived and is meeting her daughter for the first time since she was born 38 days ago. Your father says to tell you that he loves you, she tells baby Kenda, her voice breaking. This is the closest she can get to her own child. She was incubated as soon as she was born. We were under siege in the north. I didn't know anything about my daughter. We had no connectivity. When the truce came, I found out that she was in Egypt. Kenda and 11 other preterm babies from Al Shifa came to the new capital administrative hospital in Cairo over two weeks ago. Nine more have arrived from across Gaza since. How relieved are you to be able to see your baby finally? I'm very happy, thank God. Today I felt like a mother because I've never seen her before. I just want to hold her and touch her. Doctors say she'll be able to hold her daughter soon. All the babies in this neonatal intensive care unit are under six weeks old, and yet they have already been through so much in their short lives. A war and a risky journey across the border from the Gaza Strip to here in the Egyptian capital. Sasan Abu Amsha gave birth to twin girls two months early, just six days after the Israel-Hamas war started in the north. There were airstrikes and heavy bombardment, the dead everywhere. It all weighed down on me, so I had labor pains and cramps. They took me to Shifa Hospital, and I spent a week in the ICU. One of the girls has been discharged from the NICU, and she can breastfeed her in the nursery, but the twin sister remains in an incubator. Their mother never thought she would see them again. Shifa was under siege. Out of despair, I lost hope and I left. I wanted to take my girls with me, but the doctors said if I did, they would die. They said to leave them and God would protect them. Doctors say all the babies are doing better than when they arrived in Cairo. Most of cases are growing well, increasing in weight, become good general condition, tolerate oral feeding. Uh, some problems in some patients, but not too much. In fact, eight have made it out of the NICU into this nursery. But reuniting them with their parents might be harder than saving their lives. We know only the name for the mother, but we don't know where the mother is now. Larry Medowo, CNN, Cairo.